gang, welcome to another fun-filled and action-packed issue of the PlayStation Underground CD Magazine. Um, uh, Maggie, what's with the outfit? What? It's our holiday issue. I just thought I'd wear something a little more festive. Oh, I see. And here I thought you were planning a pre-dawn raid on the citizens of Whoville. Whatever, Ebenezer. Just because I'm the only one around here with any holiday spirit... <sighs> Fine. Continue, please. As I was saying, we've been doing tons of globetrotting to pack a lot into issue 3.4. First, we headed back to Japan for the official unveiling of the next generation of PlayStation. You're finally going to get a chance to see what this incredible hardware can do. Then we took a bite out of the Big Apple with Um Jammer Lammy's band Milk Can at their premiere party at the famous New York club, The Roxy. After that, it was off to Los Angeles where we spent a few days hanging out with the creators of CTR, Crash Team Racing, and Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Wait till you see how these guys spend their free time. What holiday would be complete for any gamer without some new games for their library? So stop by the vault and sample some hot new demos before filling out your wish list. Oh yeah, we've added a few new features and surprises to this issue, so check it out! Oh, you mean like your nifty new outfit? Did I mention that I'm your secret Santa this year? <laughs> what? It's just a little joke. Yeah, very little. What's 10 times more powerful than any console out there now? What plays DVD movies? And what works with your current PlayStation games unless you use your existing controller, memory card, and other licensed Sony peripherals? If you haven't heard by now, it's PlayStation 2 coming to North America in the fall of 2000. How's it changing games? We sent a team to Japan for a closer look. Keep in mind that we're giving you sneak previews of games that are very early in development. This game is called Bouncer from Square. It's not a rendered CG movie, it's someone playing in real time. The PS2 is able to crunch millions of numbers and render all these details on the fly. Check out the fire and the spraying water. They're made up of thousands of particles. Never before could so many particles be on screen at once, offering a new level of realism. This is Namco's Tekken Tag Tournament. The models are more complex than ever before. The blades of grass can move individually in the wind. Watch how the light moves across the stone. You can't do this without substantial computing power. In Dark Cloud, an RPG from Sony Computer Entertainment, hair and cloth can move subtly. The main character builds a village on the fly. All kinds of new gameplay are possible. In A-Train from Art Dink, you build cities and then manage their railroad systems. PlayStation 2 gives the sixth version of the game the fastest action ever, with more trains and full 3D for the first time. A new DualShock 2 analog controller comes with the PlayStation 2, and it does something really cool. It registers not just which button you push, but how hard you push it, to 256 levels of pressure sensitivity. In Gran Turismo 2000, that means more sensitive acceleration and braking. You can push the edge of the car's performance with greater precision. The controller also affects games like the new Ninja Gaiden title coming from Tecmo. If you press lightly, the ninja throws his star short. If you press hard, he throws it far. How hard do you want to punch? How high do you want to jump? I just love all the new control the DualShock 2 allows. We switch now to the battlefields of 16th century Japan. It's Kessen from Koei. The East takes on the West in a historic struggle for the fate of the country. You control as many as 200 troops on screen at one time. The game's producer explains what's happening. We use what we call agent technology. When you move a group, its members are aware of each other and act individually, adjusting to what others are doing around them. The result is very lifelike. The new console also makes it possible for characters to express emotion. I've dreamed of this for 20 years, that the power of games could be combined with the grand sweep and emotion of movies. The time has come for this game. 
Hundreds of companies worldwide have signed on to explore technical and creative power that no one's ever had before. We can't predict what games will look like, but we can commit to helping you as a PlayStation Underground subscriber try them first. It's not a bad way to be starting a new century.